Hi guys, I'm in the simulator here with Captain Webb and Tom. Hello. Tom's, uh, these guys are uh, X777, they're all on the 747 now, so they're not even X777, they're just 747, <laughs> 747 <laughs> guys. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Captain Webb, Hello. you hail from New Zealand, right? Ah, uh, yes. Right. So uh, you're doing this to demonstrate a little bit for your colleagues at, what's the name yeah, of the Aero Club? Simon teaching uh, instruments and nav aids, I think, at North Shore Aero Club. Simon teaches instruments and nav aids at North Shore Aero Club in New Zealand, Auckland, that is. Yeah, that's right. Right, okay. So we're on the ground in Hong Kong, runway 25 left. We're going to do a takeoff and come around for a VOR approach on runway 25 right, having taken off on 25 left. That's what we're going to do. So we've got it all set up and uh, it is there. He's got it all set. We're going to take off and then go around for a VOR approach. Take off page, thank you. So he's got the takeoff page there and he's got the speeds, as you can see there, all the speeds are set for his departure. All right, very okay. good. You clear for takeoff, Captain? Okay. Set first. Wind is 160 at 10 knots. Five to eight contact Hong Kong departures one two three decimal eight. Two three decimal eight. Hong Kong departures. five to eight. Listen, I'm five thousand. Should five to eight. Identified. Maintain five thousand feet. Maintain five thousand feet. Identified. Five thousand. So the airplane is now accelerating. Speed there. Cathay 528 fly heading 170, radar vectors.
Okay, so we'll get uh, Tom here is going to select the approach. The route page? Right. So you're going to go to the depot. Arrival. Arrivals, Hong Kong arrivals, and he's going to look for VOR25 right. VOR25 VOR right. right. He's going to select that. It's going to be Tango Delta transition. He's going to select that. And he's going to check it on the legs page to make it look right. Tango Delta. Legs page one. To the top. That's the same as the chart. Check. Legs key. Cathay 528, turn left track direct Tango Delta. Turn left direct Tango Delta. From Tango Delta, you cleared for the VOR approach on I 25 right. Tango Delta, you cleared the VOR approach on I 25 right. And, uh, and then I'll do the descent checklist. Okay, briefing is completed. Descent checklist. Descent checklist recall is checked. Notes checked. Auto brakes three. Landing data is uh, REF 31. On the FMS, what we have is, on the PFD rather, what we have is, what we're going to do is VOR25, right? The course is 254. MD25 right just means minimum descent to 25 right. To the minimum descent point is 13.9 miles. We're slightly flying away from the runway point at the moment. That's why the runway distance is increasing. We're going, making a left turn and then into support him intercepting the final approach course shortly and is being run by the FMC so far. That's what's set up in the FMS. And we cross check that with the charts as well. Speed minute five. Check. Would you like to write on this one? We've got Sierra Mike Tango, which is what the approach is based on. Sierra Mike Tango and the final approach course of 254 if you see there on VOR left. So that's set up in there. And that's what would be flying. Flaps one is selected. Commencing our final turn to intercept the final approach course. If I get Tom to select on here, if he selects VOR on there, see what you see there. There's a the VOR. See the radio is coming in to intercept the final approach course, which is uh, a standard approach that you'd normally see on a, on a normal HSI. We can even make the ND look like an HSI by selecting center. Please, Tom. There it is. There you go. 
There's an HSI, we're intercepting the radio on final approach for the VOR. So we'll leave it like that. On Dion's side, the captain's side, he's got the normal presentation we would have. We've also got the vertical situation display, VSD, which shows us the terrain that we're flying close to. There it is, it's, it's a hill there, and it's shown there with the peak. And we're turning away from it at the moment, so it shouldn't be a problem, so it should fall away. Up 10, okay. Okay, uh, Cathay 528, you're number one, the wind 1610 knots. Runway 16, the runway 25 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 25 right, Cathay 528. Clear to land, thank you. Vertical path is coming in. Sure. So, what we have here is we have LNAV and VNAV selected and soon will be descending as we approach our descent point. Accurately there, as you can see, right on the center line. Looking out there, the runway just there. You can just make out the runway where the lighting is. Captain Webb is doing his best here to do a nice landing for us. Right there, right there Captain Webb. Descending in VNAV path, it's maintaining the path. You can see there, LNAV and VNAV path. It's descending towards the runway now. Get Looking out, out there, Get you can out. just see the runway. It is 2500. The gear has just gone down. So the lights come on. I see autopilot disconnected. One six zero at ten knots. Plus hundred. What speed? Eight hundred. Minimums. Continue. First available left, Cathay 528 and hold position. Motion's coming off. You can bring it to a halt here after landing flow and uh, we'll clean it up. Thank you. Okay. 